an often overlooked fact that the line shape of a spectrum collected on a benchtop NMR system is dominated by the magnet and shims and not by the sample. The implication is that line shape improvements or resolution enhancements can be achieved using reference deconvolution where the reference spectrum has been acquired separately from the sample. So let's see how we can do this in MNOVA. So we can see I have two spectra, a reference spectrum and my spectrum of interest. The first thing I need to do is move the reference peak out of range of my peaks of interest. And I'll do this using the referencing option. Simply select my peak and I'll set it to minus 2 ppm way out of range. So now I need to combine my spectra into a composite spectrum. So if I select both the spectra, again from the analysis tool, I can use the arithmetic option to add the two spectra. So now I have a composite spectrum containing my reference peak and my peaks of interest. So to perform the reference deconvolution, I'll select the processing option and from the drop down menu, the reference deconvolution. And simply dragging and dropping, I can select my reference peak. There's options here so you can fine tune that selection, but I'm quite happy with what I've selected here. And now I need to set my target line shape and width. So I'll set 0.6 Hertz. And I'm going to choose a Gaussian because the Gaussian line shape is slightly narrower at the base. If my reference peak has silicon satellites, such as TMS, or carbon satellites, chloroform, TMS, then you would need to select these options in order to model these satellites correctly. But this is just a water peak. We can see there's a little bit of 50 Hertz interference, but by including that 50 Hertz, it will be corrected across the whole spectrum. So press OK, and the reference deconvolution runs. Now I can compare my process spectrum with my original spectra by simply stacking the two. And I'll choose the stack option. And here we have both spectra. And I can zoom in on the peaks of interest. And we can see the improved line shape. Effectively, we've standardized the line shape in the process spectrum and we've narrowed the peaks. We can see I'm now separating the shoulder out as a peak. So I hope this has been useful for you and thank you very much for listening.